At flipsidegaming.com you can use the promo code LVD to get a 10% discount on orders over $10, and now you also get automatically entered into the Richard Kane Ferguson Playmat giveaway. Alright, so first pack, pretty easy Sarkhan. Hoping we can wheel like a Parahelix. Alright, second pick. Don't hate the Wanderer, could go for Challenger Troll. Could also take a Callous Dismissal, which is also decent. Sarkhan would be a great and aggressive blue-red deck. So here I think is between Troll, Wanderer and Dismissal. Right, let's take a Troll. Wish we had taken the Dismissal now with Kazmina. There's also Cronch Wrangler, which of course is pretty decent too, if we wanted to go down that path. But Kazmina's probably too good that we can't pass up on her, keep her options open. And then the Wrangler might wheel. Under my instruction, you will steer the course of destiny. Don't think this is an Ashok deck. There is the Pollenbright Druid at two, which could be decent. Or a Thunder Drake if we wanted to stick to blue. Although with the cards we have, I guess a Thunder Drake move into blue red could still be decent. I think it's close between the two. Probably just take the Druid, take the cheaper card when in doubt. Alright, easy Tibalt, over Conjurant, nothing else, and then we can move into red-green hopefully. It's not fun in games until someone gets hurt. Best card in the pack, probably the Dreadmalkin. There's just a Worm as a big dumb creature. Sideboard Return to Nature, maybe a Catharsis, probably taking the Worm. Now we could take a Crawl Stinger, stick to green, which seems pretty open. Snare Spinner is okay too, if we wanted a 2-drop against Flyers. Don't know if we want to take it over the Stinger. Stinger is pretty decent. Since we already have a Worm, probably leaning Courage in Crisis. Plays well with the Druids and some of the Planeswalkers we have. Then think we want a Neoform. Could still pivot into white, I guess. In which case Martyr and Screecher could be okay. Although we're more likely to want to be blue. Alright, to Grand Triangle or Wield, that's good. New Horizons could be useful. And another Challenger Troll. I think we still take the other Troll over the Planeswalker. The Planeswalker is okay. But if we take the Troll, then our late game is taken care of, and we can kind of focus on the early game stuff a little bit more. This is a pretty bad pack for us. Could take a blue card, Tamiya's Epiphany. Since we do have New Horizons, we might pick up some more mana fixing. There's some Blade Angel, but we already have a bunch of 5s and 6s. And could take another Courage in Crisis, which might even wheel. So probably the Epiphany, and then uh, keep that as an option in case we want to splash. Well, this is a tricky pack. Best cards are white, Prison Realm, Enforcer. Nahiri is great too. Guess we can still cast Nahiri for red-green. Otherwise there's a Nurture to help us fix our mana and ramp. Don't hate Nahiri. I didn't start this fight, but I will finish. <laughs> Another Nahiri. The writers could be good. With double challenger troll in the deck. Seems okay over another Nahiri. And over the nurture. Another Wrangler looks good. Although we gotta start picking up those four powered creatures now. Bloom Hulks would be amazing. Alright, I'll settle with a crocodile, I guess. Or would we rather want a Cyclops? Problem is the five drop slots are already pretty stacked. So don't have room for many more. Got some good blue cards, maybe on the splash. Probably take the croc. 
with double troll the ability from the other giant is less relevant. Don't mind another Wrangler. God Pharaoh could be okay. Yeah, we would love to pick up some crunches to go with the Wranglers. Guess we'll take a hard fire. Not the best deck for it, but we might still play it. Not much here. Probably playing the Silver Wing. Alright, so the second pack wasn't very kind to us. Hopefully the last pack gives us some good three and four drops to go with our Wranglers. Well, <laughs> that's a pretty good one. Can pass up on Ilharg. Man would love a Bloom Hulk though. If only we could get these in separate packs, but uh, can pass up on Ilharg. More Crunch Wranglers. Could take an Assault Team to go with the Wranglers. I guess Assault Team's not bad. Plays well with the Riders as well. Don't hate it. And I guess we'll take a Nurture, help us ramp. Over Conjurant, don't have a ton of proliferates. Honor the God Pharaoh looks okay. Smooth out our draw a little bit. Force landing for the sideboard. Or we can take a guild globe for fixing, in case we want to splash some of these blue cards. So far the mana fixing is New Horizons, a guild globe, and that's it. So don't have a ton of mana fixing. I guess a nurture as well. So I guess if we take the globe, we could try and squeeze in some of these blue cards instead of the force landing, but force landing is a pretty good sideboard card. I mean, the only blue cards we're kind of excited about are Cosmina and the Epiphany. I think we take Landing. I mean, this is another 5-drop is a problem, and our 5s are already stacked. Don't think we can take the Skylord. So it's another God Pharaoh or another Stinger. Creature count is relatively high. Tybalt and Honor kind of make creatures as well. Both play well with the Heartfire we have. Probably Honor the God Pharaoh. Alright, Northern New Horizons looks good. Let us go from 3 to 5. Plays okay with the Wranglers on 2. Manticore could be okay. Probably take the New Horizons. And then maybe we can get away with playing some of these blue cards. Maybe a Dime Breaker as a Curve Topper. Alright, Guild Globe looks good. Over Transmutation on the Splash. I think we already have a Nissa's Triumph in the side that I don't think we're playing. Not a Wrangler. I guess I'll play it. Man, if only we could have gotten some Crunches. Might actually have to play the bully. Don't think we're neoforming. Could take a return to nature for the side over no escape for the side. Alright, so I mean, our deck has some bombs, but overall, could have used some better curve cards, so like the, the crunch at three, some other bloom hulks at four. So the first question we have to ask ourselves is, are we splashing blue? These are kind of the blue cards I'm interested in. We've got a globe, double horizons, nurture um, as fixing. Silverwing can probably go. Do need double red for Ilharg and double red for Sarkon. Heartfire looks okay with double honor god Pharaoh and Tybalt. Courage in Crisis as a pump spell. Yeah, probably got to play the blue cards. Not sure about the dam breaker. Got to play 17 lands, we've got double Honor God Pharaoh to 
Get rid of extra lands, the bully looks kind of mediocre. So I need to make three cuts, maybe four wranglers is a bit much. Cut one. Probably shaving one of the six drops. How much plus one counter synergies do we have? The wranglers. The god pharaoh. The bolts. New horizons, courage. Kazmina, Nahiri. I've got a decent amount of synergy with the dam breaker. So I might cut a worm. Then we need to make one more cut. Problem with the wranglers is that they don't grow until turn 5 most of the time. Like we have 0, 3 drops that trigger the wrangler. We've got 1, 4 drop that triggers the wranglers. So the wranglers are pretty bad in this deck, but they're kind of just curve fillers. Yeah, dam breaker plus Ilharg is also kind of nice. And then we need to make one more cut. Could shave and honor the god Pharaoh. Although it's nice in that it lets us discard additional expensive cards if we're looking for lands and can help us ditch a land since we're probably going to play 17 with double New Horizons globe, so flooding could be a concern. Maybe the Courage in Crisis isn't good enough. I think I'm cutting the Courage. Has a bit of synergy in our deck with Proliferate. But we don't have enough early game stuff to really f fully leverage the Courage, I don't think. So I think we'll try this. And then the mana base, um, I've got Globe, Double Horizons, and Nurture for th three single blue cards already. So I don't think we need more than one or two islands. Question is, do we want one or two? With Double Honor the God Pharaoh, we're fine playing 17 lands since we can always discard additional ones. Although maybe we need more forests actually to make sure we can cast our green cards on curve. And then rely on New Horizons to make Double Red. Sure. Lines up a bit better against the opportunist here. Alright, never mind. I guess we'll play Nahiri. Sarkhan's not bad. Who are you to call me? Your end has arrived. Even have an extra planeswalker in play. Alright. So against black green look like ramp. What do we want? Probably don't need Forced Landing. Um, Crocodile's not amazing if there's a board stall. Silverwing can be okay if we need to fly over. Probably just resubmit. Um, sure. A lot of card filtering here. I think I'm discarding the Wrangler instead of playing it out. Maybe play the Stinger since we've got Kazmina coming up next turn. Although it could be fine to play Honor into Kazmina, because then we can double block the Grizzly. Loyal and 
And now they need to attack if they want to threaten our Kazmina. Yeah, that was pretty good. Probably playing the troll, looting away a land, or maybe ditch one of the Honor the God Pharaoh since we have two now. Make sure we can cast Dambreaker next turn. Join my cause. Hope they can't kill the troll. Don't think the crunch is going to be very relevant this game anymore. into New Horizons and then wait for the Dam Breaker. But we're taking a lot of damage in the meantime. Or we can just play Dam Breaker right now. Probably play the Dam Breaker right now. Yeah, the Subnixilus. It's been pretty annoying. Could be a finisher. Alright, so well, it's gonna be rough. Need a Sarkon, I guess, off the top. Some good removal. Alright. So, moving into the next game. So, good removal of Nixilus, but the Wrangler doesn't look great. Bully could be better. And a Croc could be okay. Anything else? Silverwing maybe? Pressure the Planeswalker. Maybe Shaven New Horizons, now that we cut some two drops as well. Yeah, Salt Team's probably not great now that we cut the uh, Wranglers anyway. Alright, I mean Hardfire plus Tibalt is kinda nice. Gotta hope to draw our mana fixing. Is 
Don't think I'm attacking. Thank you, Tybalt. Alright, time to play Kazmina. I guess one devil can attack now. Alright, let's bottom those. Riders doesn't seem great. And then do we want to honor the god Pharaoh? I guess it's reasonable. Help us dig deeper towards our bombs. Can keep it in hand until we draw some lands. Alright. Sure. We could play the Riders first, but if we go New Horizons we get to play Troll into Dambreaker. If we go Riders into Horizons, into Troll, into Dambreaker, we get a bit of proliferate value, don't know if that's worth it. How's our score? The first draft we won 5 and 1, second one, 2 and 2, and now we're... Yeah, I'm already in the game. Alright, so our opponent bounced our enchantments, try and slow us down. Alright, I guess we'll play the Riders now. No, Sarkom. It's pretty good too. Legend, when you finish that draft, come find me because uh, I'm I'm playing the fifth game right now of my second draft still, which is way too slow. Yeah, I'll so uh, try and help. Yeah. Another troll gone. All right. Probably want to try and kill the Jace instead of going face with everyone. I guess we can also New Horizons and then Dam Breaker to proliferate instead of playing the troll. I guess we'll try this. I guess we'll send this at our opponent and then Dam Breaker at Chase. Fortunately, I won't have to remember this. Maybe that was overkill at Jace, not sure. Because now they like have a totally loss on Ilharg. They can set us back quite a bit. Alright, that's fine. Alright. Against blue-red. 
featuring Jace, some bounce spells, Cyclops. The Wrangler looks okay, just as early pressure. They didn't have much to add to the board, although it lines up awkwardly against their 1-1 token. Silverwing could be okay. Assault team's awkward against the 1-1s as well. I think we'll stay put. Sadly gonna have to mulligan this one. Alright, flooding out a little bit. That's why we have the two god pharaohs in our deck. Opponent seems to be stuck on two. So they scryed land to the top. It's pretty good. Missing a place this turn hurts, but hopefully we can make up for it. So opponent kept a land on top, or a card on top, and they didn't play anything here, so they're keeping up their counter spell, which counters both a creature and a planeswalker, sadly. So do we just do nothing? Or do we get Sarkhan countered? Yeah, I think Ilharg is probably better than Sarkhan. Whoa. No, no escape. Alright then. They kept the card on top though, so what would you possibly keep here? Blind Blasts? Sure. And then double block. Weren't they better off keeping the Blind Blast to kill Sarkhan? Alright, they're just jumping. Fair enough. So I'm guessing Sarkhan's dead here. Not sure how, but... Alright, Dismissal. It's a pretty good answer. But now we get to resolve Ilharg. Listen to them roar. There is no peace in defeat. Might have a heart fire in hand. Alright, so they had a pretty good start here. All the interaction they needed. But let's see how they deal with Ilharg. Five mana, so they drew some lands in the meantime. It's not bad. So what's the plan? Play Kazmina. See what we draw first. Maybe put something in play with Ilharg that we can draw. Alright, totally lost Ilharg. Fair enough. Could also be worth it to keep apart fire to kill the prophets. I think I'm blocking the server instead of the zombie, so they can't have the zombie on defense. We can kind of force them to play a spell here if they want to kill Kazmina. We can't make another token with Kazmina regardless. So maybe we just uh, let damage happen here. I think I'm just letting her die. Well, they didn't have the no escape earlier. 
with three mana, and they've drawn lands in the meantime. So I'm not sure what they could have drawn to counter Ilhark here. So I think we run it out. Probably got to keep lands in hand in case we draw a God Pharaoh. Haha, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Crush Descent. That's brutal. Well, now we know about it. You just gave me an idea. Got to get pretty lucky from here. I'm sorry, but I must tend to my creations. Can play the island now. Yeah, we're not winning this one. Alright, well. Now we can play around Crush the Suns. They probably take it out for game 3, since it's usually pretty bad. Didn't think we changed much. We saw hard fires. Doesn't kill most of our big stuff. Assault team's pretty bad against the planeswalker. Forced landing. Didn't see many big flyers, so only the small strix. Might want the crocodile. Think we're okay. That's rough. Think we bought them. We need lands for troll, and we also want double rent for some of our bombs. But kind of want some blue mana for Cosmina more than anything. And then Cosmina can smooth out her draw. If they play a prophet, we can put the counter on the Wrangler to attack past it. Alright, probably gonna play the globe anyway though. So we can cast Kazmin on curve. Could go New Horizons and do Druids, and then just play the Troll instead of Cosmina. Maybe that's better. Don't hate it. Don't really want to go all in on the Wrangler, since it's going to pick up another counter from the Troll next turn. And then it would still die to a hard fire. Uh, how close are you to available for drafting? I'm about to draft deck 3, and I, have, I went 5-0 and with deck 2. Nice, congrats. I'm still in the middle of a game here, so it's probably not gonna happen. Okay. Think I'm just attacking and playing a 2-2. Two -two. Alright. Well, now we can play around their stupid counterspell. I guess we want to 
maybe attack first with a with a wrangler i'm okay trading it for the profits or we can just stay back Probably just chill. This looks like a hard fire killing Cosmina. But now the Wrangler is going to become a threat when we play the troll. And this is what I mean by Crush the Sun not being very good. Since we've got a troll in play. And now we just want to draw up bombs here, Ilharag, Sarkhan. Dismissal. All right. Well, Sahili is annoying. Lines up well against the troll. Gotta hope they run out of spells. But with the prophet scrying, it's not likely. Sahili down. Play a Stinger. Still have a God Pharaoh in our deck, so we want to keep the land in hand. Alright, we got there. Oof. Hmm. On the play, I think I keep this. easy and it's time to pay the troll toll The creature needs to be tapped first to be able to deal damage to it. They're attacking. I'll take it. Now we can just kill it. Although then... Oof, then I guess they can finish off Nahiri with the uh, Screecher. But I guess that's fine. Probably better to just play Ilharg. Yeah, just smash, play Ilharg, take 5, whatever. All the five drops. All right. Enforcer, we want to try and kill. Maybe with Nahiri.
We can dig for creatures with Honor or with Kazmina. So I think we start with Kazmina. Not what we were looking for. So we can honor the god Pharaoh to look for more creatures to put in play with Ilharg, or we can just Nahiri and then kill the Conjurants. Opponents forced to chomp at least one creature here. Want to make sure we don't die on the way back. Nahiri kill Conjurant is probably the safest play considering they have an Enforcer in play as well. So I think that's probably what I'm gonna do. There's no reason to play Nahiri pre-combat since they're all chomping anyway because of Troll. At 8 life we should be relatively safe with the blocker back. Yeah, the Enforcer cannot tap down our token. So our slow hand worked out because our opponent was kind of slow as well. So a bunch of white and green creatures, some flyers, some ramp, some Lauren Enforcers. I don't think we bring in Force Landing just for a 1-3 flyer. If they showed us Pegasus or Griffin, I would board it in. I think we stay put here. Sure. Not a great hand, but gives us some early game plays. And then hopefully we draw into some of our heavy hitters. Makes for a reasonable blocker, I guess. Although there might be some proliferate in our future. Well, that's a good one. So the only way we guarantee Ilharg is by playing the Guild Globe. I guess that's okay. I go Guild Globe plus Wrangler. And then next turn we pump up the Wranglers as well. Ooh, Tulsimir. Don't think I want to block with a Wrangler quite yet. Maybe a little aggressive, but six damage is a lot. Oof. We kind of want a mountain so we can cast Ilharg, so I guess we ditch the Wrangler and then we can hard fire the Wanderer right now or we can wait in case they try and kill our Kazmina we can get a bit of value. So Kazmina would die regardless. What I'm 
wander down. And I think it's Ilhark time. Oof, that's not what we wanted to see. It's a big mobile. Can't really attack ourselves either. It's not often that uh, our opponent's got the biggest creature in play. Keep land in hand for God Pharaoh. Still have uh, two of those in the deck. Tibalts. Not sure what uh, we're waiting for to deal with Mo here. Don't have much removal. I guess some f flyers to fly over. 9-9 nine, nine now. More trolls. We're slowly getting to the point where we can maybe consider attacking with everyone. And Druid Proliferate doesn't do much. Probably just keep it in hand and wait. Kind of a stalemate. Enforcer's annoying. Right, that's a good draw. Nahiri... Now here it could be good. Probably just keep it. And try and snipe the enforcer. Uh, I'm gonna queue game two. Are you in a game? Yeah, I'm currently in a game. Okay. Well, not much has changed. Still don't think it's worth it to show them Nahiri. Maybe it'll tap down something with Enforcer and we get to snipe that. Alright. Light shield, all in on Mowu, 11 11. It's pretty big. Got a death toucher now, though. Seems like a weird attack. It's pretty good. So we can just plus one and probably kill our opponents. Uh, I just want to double check that we don't die on the way back here. I mean, these are all chum blocks, basically. So we'll keep the small stuff back. Alright. Alright, so we're 3 0 in our third draft here. Not our medium hand. Guess we'll try it. That's a good draw. Let the five drops come. Alright, the haste on riders being relevant, that's nice. If 
we draw a 5 drop here, that would be great. I'll keep an Ilharg, don't need the rest. How relevant is the fairy's ability here? They might proliferate and then things could get messy. If we hit them for two, yeah, this is probably fine. Alright, it's the race board time. It's gonna pump our entire squad here. All to the face. Alright. So against the blue green, kinda rampy, planeswalkery. What do we want? Mm, didn't see any flyers. I think we're okay the way we are. <laughs> Same hand as last time, except no epiphany. I mean, we've got all our colors. Our deck has some expensive cards in it, some card draw. The assault team's looking kinda good. Kasmina would be fine. Alright. It's just a trade. Focus on what matters. So we should send a soul team at Kazmina, a Wrangler at her face, so at least her face takes three damage. Makes sense, right? Because if you send both Wranglers there, then yeah. Yeah. Alright, they're actually not trading for a soul team. Fair enough. I guess they've got some good blockers coming up. If they're just 1 1s, then the new Horizons could mess that up. Could be worth it to go Horizons plus Crunch Wrangler instead of Troll. Otherwise, we'll make them pay the troll toll. Alright, the ferry, that's fine. And a visionary, alright. So I think we make the play we mentioned. Probably go after Teferi. Better save than sorry. Wow, and they're jumping. It's aggressive. I guess uh, they've got some proliferate in hand. Next turn we can go Wrangler plus Troll if we draw lands. Otherwise just Troll. I see her opponent also wants to wrangle some crunches and a flux channeler. And then just attack with a wrangler since we don't have another big creature coming up. And if these trade, then they don't have a good blocker for the assault team anymore. Sure, I can buy that. So 
So they value the crunch more. Got some big creatures in hand. Bloom Hulk. That'll do it. But now the assault team's just a reasonable blocker. Discarding land. Kasmina's good. Let's get in there. So unclear whether we should play Kasmina or just play Tybalt and keep land in hand to discard. I guess we'll Kasmina still. It's not too bad if we have to discard the Wrangler. Because we can trade Assault Team for Hulk and double block Wrangler. Eh, well, we'll keep Tybalt. Tybalt's fine. It's not the first time we've seen this today. Alright, they're looting main phase, so they're pretty desperate here. Five for Wrangler. But they're gonna stay back. We get to put a count from the troll, so it can still attack. Well, this deck seems to be playing out pretty well. Alright, this seems like a keep to me. No double rent yet, but we've got Honor the God Pharaoh to help us dig. Alright, what are we discarding here? Forest, maybe? Depends whether we draw land or not. Alright, now we can ditch forest. Riders is just a reasonable blocker. Ooh. Pegasus is scary. So Sarkhan better stabilize us. Alright, I guess we'll block a Reaper. Alright, just a land. They can sack whatever dies to the Reaper. So they don't lose out on too much value. Wow, they stay back. Well, I think we're making another dragon here after playing Dambreaker. Just get our value while we can. Even though there's a chance we could keep Sarkhan around for a turn. Making another dragon seems better. And now we can slam down the, the race boar. Yeah, our board looks relatively stable now. But we are at 12. Point's got all of evasive creatures out, so you never know. Alright, kill our 5-6, that's fine. I guess we could consider attacking. Alright, opponent's gonna concede, make it easy. Appreciate it. 
Alright, so again, it's black-white, pretty aggressive-looking deck with a bunch of flyers and mana creatures. Sacrifice synergies. Silver Wings coming in. Assault team looks horrible against those lasso taps. Force landings coming in. Um, yeah, not sure what to take out. Maybe one Wrangler. Still kind of weak against the lasso taps. Don't need Tibalt, but Tibalt's reasonable. It trades well for their small stuff and then plays well with Hardfire. And they usually have a bit of life gain as well that uh, Tibalt can stop. Alright, so this hand is good if we draw two lands. Since then we get a Nurture, we're on the draw. But it's pretty bad if we miss on lands. But even like land plus New Horizons is good enough. I think on the draw we can keep. Don't have a turn 3 play lined up, so we can try and trade now and then next turn play the globe. Don't love trading for the Reaver, but uh, Wrangler's not going to grow anytime soon. Just want to minimize the damage here, I think. I think I'm actually happy if the token grows, because they have some sacrifice synergies. So we'd rather keep them with a 3-3 token, instead of 2-1 one once, they can sacrifice twice. I think I'm still playing Globe here. Just to make sure we hit our land drop. Alright, perfect. So next turn we've got a Nurture or Silverwing. Probably Nurture. Opponent's got a very reactive draw. So we can expect them to play some removal spells. But that's okay. Nurturer gets to untap. Shriek Diver instead. Gains haste. Taxes for three. Could be worth it to wait a turn on Sarkhan until we have some ground blockers, since if we play Sarkhan now, the Nurture will be tapped. I guess play Silverwing, that they're gonna kill. But then maybe they don't have removal for the 4-4 Dragon. Well, that's good to know about. Harvest Sacking Token. And move to combat. So it looks like a Gideon's Triumph or Divine Arrow, which I'll happily trade for. Ooh, promotion instead, fair enough. Alright, well, we can't play a Sarkhan right now, is a problem. So I guess we'll go digging, discarding, probably the Stinger. And I think we should have probably kept up green mana in case of a Wrangler draw. Although we could have also drawn a Heartfire. Alright, so we're still not too far behind on board. Especially if they don't add anything. Oof. 2-0 uh, oh queuing, are you in a game? Yep, I'm in a game. Okay. Hmm, Giant was not great for us, but Raze Boar is not a bad draw. So they just Sarkhan make a token here. Hold off the Shriek Diver. I guess that's fine. Instead of a race bore. Can always chum the giant with a 1-1. One -one. Alright, so Sarkhan's gonna die. Can't forget about the static ability here, so they're going to be forced to actually sack something to the Dreadmalkin before blockers. I will consume me, come on. 
Did they maybe mean to sack the other one? Either way. Now we can actually save Sarkon. Yeah, I think they might have messed up and accidentally sacked to the wrong Dreadmalkin. Interesting. So they have a way to finish off our dragon. Spark Reaper. I think I would have sacked to the Dreadmalkin and made this a 5-5. But that's just me. I guess we'll play a boar. And hope we survive. It's okay if Sarkon dies. Hopefully we can take something on the way out. They can draw some cards with the Reaper or they can make a big Dreadmalkin. Yeah, we might have lethal next turn. With the Hasty Riders and the Troll coming in. It's 22 damage. Impossible. Sweet. take a screenshot. But for now, I want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.